Why I chose to study the course in the first place? Because I have a deep and extensive interest in travelling to different places and especially a key interest in public transport. What I've learned about the course so far is the different aspects it covers relating to the industry from cruise ships, airline, cabin crew. It goes pretty extensive. I've put a lot of hard work and effort into this course the past two years. Matthew is an inspirational young person and he never lets anything hold him back. He's very driven, very focused and completely selfless. Matthew has fitted really well into the course from day one. He progressed internally from a level two work skills course into our level three uh, extended diploma in travel and tourism. And he has a real passion and interest in all the different units that we've studied. In terms of his levels of work, he is a consistently distinction level student. I'm diagnosed with high functioning autism. It would take me quite a while to process things, such as like uh, what I need to do for an assignment. I would like double check over an assignment brief to know what I'm doing. There have been cases where I haven't been able to understand what some of them were and it took me longer than it should have to like adapt what it is I needed to do. How I've overcome those challenges is one day because I thought I needed to do something like to help me get out of my comfort zone. I took a trip down to student services to ask for help with regards to the assignment work and it proved to be a great benefit to me because like it has like gave me the courage and the confidence like if there was something that I was stuck with I'd like ask the one of the lecturers uh, for the help. I wasn't aware that he'd actually applied for class rep and he went ahead independently and put himself through the application process so it was fantastic news that he was actually nominated then um, by his peers. I did a full week's work experience of the Korean trade station. I really enjoyed the experience overall. I'm really glad I had the opportunity to go there and do it because like, it was something that I've always had a keen passion about. So it definitely has shaped me, um, my knowledge in terms of my future long-term employment. We had Matthew in Korean for a week. He took part in an all range of what our station staff will do, what we call them as customer service coordinators. And our station staff really grew to, to admire him and the relationship built up between the station staff and him within that week was fantastic. It was so positive for him and really positive for us as well. That passion that, that Matthew has, it's visible. And to be able to transfer that in the employment for us it is, would be fantastic. Because if you have that passion to go to a job every day that you love and you're invested in, for us, you know, you, you couldn't put a price on that and we want to do our bit to help progress these people in the employment with us. Matthew, how are you? Hello. Look, I just want to up here on behalf of Transic and thank you for your time with us, your incredible success for us up in Korean. Mm. But more importantly, look, during that time and, and up here in the college have nominated you for a nationwide UK wide award yep. with the NCFE. Mm -hmm. and look, I'm delighted to say that across the UK, Matthew, you're actually the winner. You won. So, look, congratulations. Well done. <laughs> and there you go. <gasps> Whoa, what? You should be delighted with yourself. Oh my God. Well done.